Okay guys, so this is part two of my Nini's kitchen haul. We just have a little bit left here. So I got Fruit Loops and her Fruit Loops is amazing. I love it. It's super strong. Cannot wait to try it. Um, vanilla Buttercream Frosting. I'm pretty sure this was like another really nice, strong vanilla scent. Yes. I really like this a lot. Uh, grab Lemon Meringue Pie. I love this. This smells just like the lemon vanilla that I have been obsessed with for a while now. Definitely going to grab some more of that one. Absolutely. Um, blueberry Maple Pancakes. I love Blueberry Maple together. It's amazing. Um, this one's okay. This blueberry honestly kind of comes off more like grape to me than anything else. So I got cotton candy again. I love her cotton candy scent. I've had it last time. I got buttermints, which is like a sweet peppermint type of scent. Yeah, I really like hers a lot. Nice and strong, but not like overly menthol -y. You know what I mean? I got some cornbread cake. Can't remember if I like this one or not. Yeah, I do. I like it a lot. Okay. Then I got home baked bread. I thought I was going to love this one, but to be honest with you guys, I'm not crazy about it. It doesn't smell like bread to me. It has like a weird after note that I, I don't know. It's just not agreeing with me. It's definitely not my favorite. All right, then I got Marshmallow Fluff. I forgot if this one smells like the one that I'm used to. Not really. Um, it does smell like marshmallow though, but it doesn't smell like the Marshmallow Fluff that I'm used to. All right, I got Cake Batter Ice Cream. This one's really good, nice and strong. I think it's crazy that her vanilla scents are like insanely strong. All right, I got cinnamon glazed fritters. This one's pretty good. I like this one a lot. I do think it needs a little bit of cure time, but um, so far I'm impressed with it. Um, cinnamon bun latte. I've been intrigued with like the cinnamon coffee blends lately. It's all right. It kind of more so just smells like, um, like a little bit of espresso. Okay, grab another handful here. Buttered maple syrup. Love this one. Oh, it's so good. Super strong, super sweet and sticky and yummy. White chocolate raspberry truffle. I've been crazy about the um, raspberry scents lately. This one is really good. Love the raspberry in here and mixed with the white chocolate. Oh my God, it's so good. I think this is like my favorite um, chocolate raspberry scent so far. All right, I got coconut cream pie. Loving coconut lately, no matter what it is. This is good. Really good. Like it a lot. It's nice and creamy and bakery. Apple butterscotch cake. This one's good. It smells like apple butter is what it reminds me of. It smells exactly like apple butter, actually. All right, I went out on a whim and grabbed rosemary mint. I'm trying to dupe something, and I was hoping that this rosemary mint would help me out. It is. It does smell really good, and it's not overly herbal or floral, which I love. Love this rosemary mint scent, and I'm definitely going to be blending it with, um, I wanted to blend it with coconut, and what was the other thing? Coconut, I can't remember what the other one was. I think pink sugar or something, I don't know, I can't remember. Anyways, um, gingerbread boy, this one is very spicy, not really a fan of that one. I got blueberry pumpkin, which I'm pretty sure I got in my last order as well. I love this. 
it smells exactly like the candle exactly like the candle it even has like that warm bakery note in the background which i love um coconut milk sorbet i really like this scent i've been loving it from everybody lately it's like how do i explain it it's kind of beachy and bakery at the same time like i know i always say that but that's really the best way that i can describe it to be totally honest with you all right, is that it? Okay, two more. I grabbed sugar cookie dough. Love it. Smells exactly like sugar cookie dough, nice and strong. And then the last one here is in serendipity. I have to try everybody's serendipity, and I can't remember if I got it last time or not because I don't bother looking at my books when I order. I just go for it. <laughs> Hers is okay. It's a little bit too heavy on that cherry for me, um, but it's not horrible. Okay, so finally, that is everything. So um, like I said with this vendor, it's kind of hit or miss for me, but you know what? I didn't want any more questions. I just wanted to go in there, get one of everything, see what I liked, see what I didn't, um, and really just try to find some new scents that I really like and get maybe some brittle bags or something in it. Um, now, what I love about this vendor is that her website is the most easiest thing to navigate. So you go on there and it'll show you bakery, fruity, winter, fall, spice, vanilla, um, holiday. Um, you know, there's so many different ones, coffee, laundry, clean. So there's lots and lots of different um, categories to choose from. So for example, you go to the bakery one, you click on it, and then it'll have every scent description right there in front of your face of every bakery scent. Same thing with every other category. I love that about her website. It was super easy for me. It was super easy to navigate, really easy to order. Um, I'm really glad that she got the cart thing fixed because that helped me out a lot. Um, and I'm just really, really happy with that. Um, now for the rest of the scents that I'm like kind of iffy on, I do want them to cure because most of these look like they were just poured. Um, and I felt terrible because I remember ordering all of these things and then I was telling someone about it and they were like, is she a ready to ship company? I'm like, I think so. But then I went on the website and it said that every order is poured to order. And I was like, oh my God, no way. So I felt awful. And I'm like, oh my God, I ordered all of these one ounce freaking snap sticks. She's going to hate me. <laughs> like I really wanted to email the vendor and be like, hey, hey, um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Please don't hate me. Didn't realize that, you know, these were made to order. My bad. Um, Please accept my apology, you know. Um, but hopefully it wasn't too much of a pain for her to do. She actually got it out really quick. I don't remember the day that I ordered, but I think I only waited like a week tops, if not, if not less. Um, and then it chipped out and I got it within a few days. So I'm really, really happy with that. Customer service is pretty good. Um, other than that, I really don't have many complaints. Uh, just besides some of the scents that I hope, you know, will get a little bit better. Um, now I have noticed that the tea light is actually really good for her wax and I do like the 24 watt hot plates as well. Um, I use the ones that I get from Ashland and then also I could show you the tea light warmer that I'm using. I actually just bought it and I love it. Move some of this stuff over. Um, Yankee was having their semi-annual sale and that's when I got this. It was originally, I think $24.99 and I got it for 12 something. Um, and I love it. It's amazing. Um, now the only issue is that the tea light has to go so far down so you can't use like a regular lighter You have to use one of the long lighters in order to light the tea light Because you can't light it like in your hand and then just drop it in because it's too far of a drop But I love it. I think it's awesome And I think it'll go good with like any theme that I'm doing whether it be Valentine's Day or Halloween I think it'll be good for Halloween to be totally honest with you But I think it goes good with pretty much anything that I'm doing um, I think it'll go good with some of my summer decorations because you guys know I like to do plants and stuff. So, and it kind of reminds me of a bird cage. So, you know. All right, that's going to be it for this video. I'll stop chatting so much. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And um, I hope you guys are all staying safe, sane, and healthy. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.